So I always thought the light in here was pretty good. I never really noticed any issues with it. I mean, it's definitely not as bright as daylight. Uh, but then I started doing some of these videos. And let me tell you, you can suddenly see how much you can't see <laughs> when you put it on camera. So we had the Prime Day deal thing going on here a little while ago. I picked up some of these no name brand uh, three wing light bulbs. Um, I'm kind of skeptical about them, but they did have pretty good reviews. Uh, so we'll give it a shot. I only paid 13 bucks a piece for them. Uh, the bulbs that are up here, the really good quality Crees. Um, they last and last and last. They're fantastic. So if I'm not impressed with these things, uh, I'll just add another couple of these 100 watt Crees. But let's see what happens. So they don't rotate or go up past flat. Honestly, I don't know if they're any better. Well, after playing with these things for a little bit, uh, I think they are an improvement. There's definitely more downward light. Uh, so the surfaces and stuff are definitely uh, have better illumination mm -hmm. and uh, Maybe we just have to add another bulb or two in the shop and uh, get some more area light going on. Maybe that'll help Okay, I've got one of my treasured antiques here. This is a antique for sure uh, This used to belong to my grandfather and it's uh, one of the items that uh, I have I received and, and love uh, but this is a light meter uh, made by General Electric. So this device measures in foot candles. Now I don't know when lumens became the new standard, but uh, this is, uh, I find that pretty interesting. And you can see we have a scale. Zero to ten foot candles is inadequate. It says inadequate for most tasks. Then around ten plus is usual print. And ordinary bench work around thirty to forty. Average sewing, it shows around 60. Fine assembly being in that range. And then up around 75 there, it says severe and prolonged tasks. So I'm gonna take measurements here about one foot away from the bulb. And we're showing six foot candles. Once again, about one foot away. And we are showing 32, 33 foot candles So yes, these definitely are brighter. The problem that I'm having is that the direction of them The direction ability of them is opposite from what I need. I need these fins to be able to fold up instead Each of these guys folds down So I'm getting way too many shadows going on which is making it hard now just to show you something interesting uh, let's look at the power of directional light this is one of my shop lights by the way they advertise these as being 4500 lumens now this is an 850 lumen uh, directional light and it's just for working over the bench it's you know Phillips it's half decent here we are about a foot away and we're around probably <laughs> Well, we're past 75 ticks, so we're probably about 80, 80 foot candles. With this one being the only light on. Yeah. Placing this down on the bench here, which would be more of like a real world working. Uh, we're probably around 13 foot candles. Now let's turn our overhead lights on again. And now our bench light is up to about 15 foot candles. So that just goes to show just how efficient this task lighting is. Now I was under the impression that these guys could fold past 90 degrees. And I guess they technically sort of do, like maybe 95. But um, they don't go any further than that. And so these are going to be going back. They're just too directional for this small space in here. And we will find something a little more suitable. First, I found some better lights. One thing that's really cool about these is actually these are aluminum housings, not plastic, so they actually will dissipate the heat. These suckers are supposed to be 10,000 lumens each. Oh, let's see. Oh yeah, that is better, way better. For the last uh, 
the last light set that I was trying, uh, they they folded down. They all started off down. They'd only fold up to 90, which really was just only down lighting, and it was hmm, I, I was not in, I was not liking it. But these are made so that they fold the other way. Somebody was thinking. I can put this guy up like that. And the reason why I want some light actually hitting the top still, because that creates soft light. That's what fills in the shadows. Uh, so you can see around things. You know, you don't have to have perfect directional light down looking in the bore or something. These are somebody who actually hired a writer who knows English. That's actually really impressive. It's just a decent English. Uh, there's not a name brand that I see on them. I'll have to look that up. I'll get back to you. 